very glad today to be joined by Shona. Shauna, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not a good start. Shauna from the historic Red Barn Pub and Grill in Charlie Lake. How are you doing today, Shauna? I am fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for coming out in spite of the little bit of snow <laughs> I guess we saw today. It's, northern, it's the north. We're used right. to it. <laughs> we, we always know. We yeah. can always expect snow any time of the year. <laughs> Let's start with people who don't know about uh, the historic Red Barn Pub and Grill. What do you do there? I mean, your restaurant, your pub you're kind of a lot of things well we've actually been doing a lot more than be just we're not just a pub Mm -hmm. we hold a lot of community events um we also do uh we're right this for example this year is our second year we're hosting the energetic county fair july Mm -hmm. 18th to 20th it's a great event that we we host and we take care of the beer gardens there which i'm a part of organizing and then we are having on may 4th we're doing our second annual poultry and small animal sale and market, as well as putting in our junk in the trunk um, event that we're doing. It's our third annual one, but all on the same day on May 4th. Oh, So okay. bring out the family, bring out your friends. We're having carriage rides. It's going to be great. The pub's open at noon, full menu. So we're super excited about that. Wow. And that's you know, really, I'm mm, sorry to interrupt yeah, you. That's no kind of, we keeps expanding. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was at the, uh, the junk in the trunk last year and it was a great mm-hmm. kind of rummage sale yeah. if I could use that term. But I love that you've added this mm-hmm. second part. And then of course the, the kind of events, yes. the, the things to do while you're there also shopping yes. for good finds. Yeah, exactly. Like the market's great. We have all types of animals like poultry, small animals. There's goats, there's rabbits, there's yeah. little pigs, there's chickens, there's ducks. It's wonderful. Yeah. And then lots of local vendors bring and baked goods and crafts so if you want to do one-stop shopping mm-hmm. come on out you can i also wanted to mention also all of our events that we do at the pub if you want to register or be a part of them or see what's going on at the pub go to our website www.thepubcharlielake.com and you can find out all the information there mm-hmm. um, also for events or what we do there we also sell fresh sourdough and fresh eggs every Wednesday and Friday wow. as well okay so, so if you want to get some instead of going to the grocery store come out and get some fresh eggs and sourdough that's amazing <laughs> yeah. I, I will also say I've noticed um, I don't know about so much about the open mics but uh, mm-hmm. I know you do host quite a bit of music yes there. Uh, good thing you said that actually this Saturday yeah uh, the I guess it's the 30th. Um, we're starting to do our sh- musician showcase. Ah, and that is yeah. for the local talent that wants to try to get a spot for the Energetic County Fair. Starting at 7 p.m., we have three to four bands playing um, every last Saturday of the month till the till the music festival. Mm-hmm. So if you want to come out and see some free local talent, come on out. It's, it's, they're, they're, it's always great to come see all the local talent and all the great music. You can two-step anything you want to do out there. It's wonderful. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it's kind of like, as you said, a pub, a restaurant, mm-hmm. community hub. It is. It really is. It's wonderful. Yeah. Um, we have such a local, like the community s- support that we have is amazing. Mm-hmm. We have everyone coming around, like from that lives out in the area, out in Charlie Lake. We're about... Uh, I don't know if anyone knows where the pub is in Charlie at uh, Charlie Lake, but you come northwest side of Fort St. John, about five, five kilometers out, and we're right across from the store and the school on the other side of the highway. Yeah. Beautiful creek running by through the property. We have a three-tier patio there. It's wonderful. You see all the wildlife, the geese and yeah. the beaver and everything is the wonderful. The patio in the summer Yeah, the is patio is like nice. by, <laughs> by far the nicest patio in Fort St. John, I'm not going to lie. It's wonderful. Yeah. So uh, uh, tell us a bit about the journey for this place uh, mm-hmm. up till now. I know uh, the people who own it now have owned it in the past they gave it up they kind of brought it back again um you know it just seems like a place that they keep coming back Mm -hmm. to and people keep coming back to too right i actually have worked for mike and trina um since i'm 1990s before I started. 96. I'm sorry, Shauna. Just uh, oh, watch your sorry. mic. Sorry. I started okay. <laughs> back. I've worked for Mike and Trent at all their, at all their um, restaurants and pubs. They yeah. had Mickey's Pub, if everyone remembers, Tea Bag Annie's. Then they bought the Red Barn and they um, tore that down to make a beautiful pub that's there today, which is called was back in the day in 96 when they opened Jackfish Dundee's, named mm-hmm. after Trina's dad. Um, so they had that for many years, and then they decided that they wanted to kind of step away and have a bit of a break, right? Everyone wants to do. Yeah. And then they left for a while, and then the person that took it over just kind of didn't do, like, their standard of what they like to do. Kind of, they felt the community and their patrons were being kind of neglected, and the place was kind of abandoned and mistreated. So they wanted to come back and give it give it what it deserved get the community back this wonderful pub so they took it back and we've been building it back up from what it, from how it was and everyone's starting to realize it's mike and trina back and we have a wonderful wonderful staff our staff is amazing mm-hmm. you're going to see the same faces you're not going to see different people there all the time it's always the same wonderful staff mike and trina are phenomenal they've been in the community helping 
served the community for over 32 years. Yeah. So if you ever want to come down for a great family atmosphere, bring your friends. Mike and Trent are always there. They'll come and have a chat with you. All of our staff is super friendly. We all, it's just like, it really isn't, a, it's not a bit it's not a place to work. It's a family. Like mm-hmm. it honestly is a family. Like, I've been there on and off for over 25 years. Yeah. They're wonderful people. They'll give the shirt off their back. And um, I think uh, right before we went to air, you were saying you, you kind of, you're kind of in charge of the event kind of planning. Yeah, so, I, yeah. so yeah, tell me a bit about that. You, the spirit that maybe you and Mike and Trina mm-hmm. have sort of all agreed on. What do we yeah. want to do? What do we want to bring to in creating events that are yes. around the pub and happen at the pub and mm-hmm. outside the pub in the parking lot, like the, yeah. the uh, junk in the trunk. Yeah, the junk in the trunk. Well, I do more of the outdoor event stuff. Yeah. Um, Jessica, that works there as well, she, she's one of, the, one of the managers. She actually helps do a lot of the indoor stuff. Yeah. So she takes all, lots of, if you ever want to reserve as well, go to our website. She creates a lot of events inside the pub. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to help get people like outside the pub because we have five acres there. Yeah. So I, I come up with a poultry sale because when I live in the Okanagan, and me and my daughter would go to those and sell her animals. So I'm like, let's try that here. It's a, fa- it's a farming community. So yep. let's do that here. So it's been really good so far. And then if anyone has ideas for events, come and let me know. Like we love, we'd love more ideas. We're going to try bring, to bring back the bartender Olympics that Mike and Trina started way, way back. <laughs> so this summer we're going to try to do the bartender Olympics. That's where we invite all the local bars and pubs and restaurants teams. Yeah. It's just a fun day of obstacle courses and silliness and just to kind of um, bring all the hospitality industry together. So keep an eye out for that as well. So, you know, we just want to get the community involved in more stuff and get people out and see your, see what's out there. I see. So yeah, please, if you, anyone has ideas, let me know or, or fundraisers or anything. We, we like to help the community with fundraisers as well. So get in touch with us. Is there a media category in the bartender Olympics? Well, maybe we should <laughs> We maybe we could have you guys in there. That'd be awesome. Get Tina in there too. She'd love that. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, last question for you, uh, Shauna, um, I, you know, outside of sort of the special events or whatnot, people want to come by for a bite to eat. Mm-hmm. They want to find out more what's happening in the pub. What are kind of your hours of operation for people to come by and, sure. and hang out? Um, what we do, uh, our pub is open right now, Tuesday yeah. to Saturday, 3 till 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. And just so anyone knows, everyone knows that has children or anyone under the age of 19, Till 8 p.m., children are allowed at our establishment Excellent. as well. So bring the kids out. We got a high chair. We got a booster seat. And and just, you know, our um, our kitchen is like our menu right now is phenomenal. The, everything is like made from scratch. We don't like bring in fish sticks and, and anything like that. Yeah. Everything's made from scratch with love. We have a wonderful kitchen staff. We're revamping our menu. So I believe next month we're going to have a brand new menu. So keep an eye out for that as well. Okay. But yeah, definitely come out 3 till 10, Tuesday till Saturday. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then, as you said, the website again to check out for Mm -hmm. more info. At www.thepubcharlielake.com. All of our information's on there. Any events, any registrations. And just so you know, for the poultry sale, junk in the trunk and all that, no charge at all. We're doing by donation and we're going to have a bunch of local charities and we're going to post that. People coming or vendors, we just ask that you bring donations and we're going to just distribute those to our, the charities that we choose. And they're going to be animal-based charities because it's an animal kind of event. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Shauna, I really appreciate you coming by to talk to mm-hmm. us about the historic Red Barn Pub and Grill in Charlie Lake. Thank Thanks you, so much. Thank you so much for having me. I want, uh, really appreciate being able to promote our wonderful little pub. Thank <laughs> You're you. You're very welcome. Join us next Thursday for the next edition of Vocal for Local, brought to you by the Fort St. John Co-op. If you have a small business and would like to be featured for free, call us at 787-7100 or email reception at moosefm.ca.